Hello, I'm Ernie Fletcher, and I had the wonderful opportunity of being the governor of Kentucky. Lori Bear asked me to share a few thoughts with you all, and I'm really honored to do so. First, I have three granddaughters, so I'm very interested on the future of young ladies. When she asked me that, I, I wrote down a few notes, and I'm going to share those with you. The first thing I encourage you to do is dream a dream. Take the time and sit and think about what do I want to be? Now that dream could be being president, it could be being a teacher, it could be being a mom or a mother. But take the time to dream a dream. And don't be afraid to dream big dreams. Someone said, dream no small dreams for they fail to stir one's soul. So first dream a dream. The second thing I wanna talk to you about is something I've used for young individuals, particularly young ladies, that have a lot of anxiety. In fact, one of my granddaughters had that issue. It's a gem I want to share with you. G-E-M. The first thing is gratitude. Now, even scientific studies have shown that individuals that express gratitude do better. They have less depression, less anxiety. They perform better. They're happier in life. So take the time each day, and I encourage you each morning just to count your blessings, as that old church song says. Take the time, no matter how rough life is, and I can't imagine some of the things that some of you might be going through, but try to look in life and think about some of those things you can be thankful for and focus on those things. The second thing is expectations. Don't raise expectations of yourself or of your friends so high that you or they never meet them. Now you may say this is opposed to dreaming big dreams, but you'll never reach your dreams by being perfect because you're never going to be perfect and neither are your friends. And some of us spend a lot of time disappointed at either our own performance or the performance of our friends. So be careful of how high you set those expectations. The last thing is M, G-E-M, meditation and prayer. Take some time to sit down each day and just relax. Think about what's important in life. Pray, meditate. It's good for your mind. It reduces anxiety. Even the head of the CDC, the Centers of Disease Control, spent every day a few minutes in meditation. It works. Now, the last thing I want to say as I look at my notes here is relationship. It comes down to love. There was a longitudinal study, which means across a number of years, done by Harvard and Valiant. Dr. Valiant was an individual that is conducting that study at this time. And what they found is the single most important thing in an individual's health and well-being is do they have loving connection? So take the time to love, to care about others, and develop those relationships that are important. That's all I'd like to say to you, but I wish you the very best, and thanks for the opportunity to share just a few of these thoughts.